And now I'm going to want you to face me. I love that position. You're not making me correct your position at all. I can tell you guys when I'm when I'm testing you, I'm going to be like slumping and slouching. Uh-huh. You're going to have to cue me to sit up each time because patients don't know that normally, right? You're doing a good job maintaining the position, though. Okay, so we're going to test pronation and supination. So the first thing I want to see you do is I want to see you, let's see, well, let's test supination first. That's it. That's all I need to see is right there, right? I'm seeing you supinate. Okay, go ahead and relax your hand. Okay, and just come over and supinate. Okay, great. I'm seeing that you can do that against gravity. So now what, what I will do is bring you back to halfway. Okay, I want you to hold it and don't let me move you. Okay, hold it, hold it. Hold it now. In the, it's hard for you to see, but what I'm actually doing is turning her into pronation, and she is not letting me with her supinators. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. So I'm trying to turn her this way. Okay, now I'm not saying any of that to her. She just knows what to do to hold it. But in my head, I have to think I'm testing supination, so I have to try and pronate you. Okay, so it's not, not an exchange that we're going to have as patients. I'm just going to do it, and when I do it, you know how to resist it, right? Yes. You know without me saying anything. Mm-hmm. Okay? Let's back up a little bit more. Okay, ready? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Nice. Okay? Very nice. Okay, let's say that um, let's say that when I have your arm out like this, that you're not quite able to make, bend your elbow, you're not quite able to make, okay, I need you not to quite able to make even the half. Oh, okay, okay, so you're really having trouble with that. Okay. Now I'm going to have to position you in a way where gravity is not going to have an effect on you trying to do the supination motion. So let's come back up to the table. Move it down just a hair. You want to up? Move it down just a hair. Okay. I want you to put your elbow on this towel and just point your hand straight to the ceiling. Okay. You want to turn it halfway for me? Turn it halfway. Okay. Now from there, just kind of relax your hand. Okay. From there, I want to see if you can turn your palm all the way towards you. All the way towards you. Great. Okay. That is the full range of motion we're looking for. From here to here. And you can do that on your own, right? Show me one more time. Good. Okay. We don't have, now we have the effect of gravity coming straight down as opposed to trying to keep your hand in one position or another. Okay. So if you were not able to, if you were not able to make that full range of motion, you would be poor minus in strength. You were able to make the full range of motion for the grade of poor. poor. Good. Okay. So let's say that in this position, you were not able to budge one way or another. Okay. I'm going to be feeling for things that supinate. So I know that the supinator comes from the lateral epicondyle, comes over to the radius. Okay. I'm going to be feeling here and here. If I have to support you, I might feel it all with one hand because I'm also trying to feel your biceps underneath. Because remember, the biceps is the biggest supinator we have. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm really going to feel for that contraction. I feel a little bump, so I'm going to have her graded as a trace. Okay.